all of yeah. everyone. Yes, yeah, like, I yes, no, they different. didn't say that. They apologized and said they wouldn't do it again. I said I would have done it. Don't put words Kate, in my Kate fucking little, gang's mouth. You understand Kate me, Penny? I swear to God, you keep going on and you, putting. You keep disrespecting Penny, right? I'm gonna kill two people in this fucking room right here in front of you. You fucking understand me? Buddha. Watch your fucking mouth. You are all prohibited from ever coming to any of my establishments ever again. Uh, if I see any of your people, Raymond, at Rooster's Rest, uh, you will not like the outcome. Wait, Buddha's calling me. Hold on. Hey, Buddha, how's it going? Ray. Yes. We want you and Maxine to come to my office at the manor. We gotta chat things out. Morish. You want me and Maxine too? Yes. No. Make. Maxine's in the car. He said no. Why do you want Maxine to be there? What? He's a big old gangbanger in a gang. Does he a pussy now? Like I'm confused here. Does he get to choose when he wants to be big and powerful? Are the civilians the only things he has the balls to stand up to? Ah. Uh, uh, Harry's gonna be there. Harry's gonna be there. Speedy. There's no. There's no one else. There's not gonna be anyone trying to fuck with him. Cause I, I'll be honest no. with it. If you guys do something to Maxine, I don't. I don't feel like I have the the capability to stop you. Maybe Harry, but I, I don't want to hurt family. You you know what I mean? Yeah, of course. I don't know what you mean. Come on to the manor. Let's chat. Hey, Harry. Hey, what's up, Ray? I was going to an interview, but I had to rush over here. He's uh, he's in the office. All right. Hello, Buddha. It's good to see you. Why the fuck are you dressed like that? I can barely hear you, but... And tell his child to take his helmet off, please. He's he is actually my child, but uh, I'm just like this because I was going to an interview for the VU, the Claire and uh, Marty to apply for the CEO position. This might take a while. I might land. Oh hell yeah! Can you take this child to take his help? Tell this child to take his helmet off, please. Maxine, do you want to take your helmet off? I don't think I've ever seen your face. Nope. Go ahead and take it off. Maxine, just take the helmet off. All right, Buddha. What what has caused? What has Maxine done to you? Right, do you like intentionally play stupid or do, or should I just believe that you are stupid? Hey, Link. In my personal opinion, the person who fucked up was Kate. Is that not correct? This guy right here was the one who radioed everybody down and caused the whole shit show. So this motherfucker right here caused everything, right? Okay, if that's how you see it. Well, how do you see it? I see it as she's the one who caused it. She's the one who started it all. Hey, so you believe you believe this child right here has got nothing to do with it? No, I do. I do believe he has this part. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if you can. But I believe the person who starts the incident <laughs> is the one who should take the blame, which is her, Elfie. You think he has no blame in this? No blame? What do you mean by blame? He should, he should take no blame in this. Well, if you so, if you think someone who informs other people that. You know, something is happening, like, kind of like a news person should get blamed for the incident. Um, I guess he does have a part. Right, and uh, what punishment uh, do you think is fit uh, for somebody like this child? Right well, he was a dedicated worker at the Rooster's Rest for many months. He worked under your establishment, unlike Elfie, by the way, for you for a very long time. And he's lost that job, and he's lost that access. Something he actually cared about and did... Dearly, I'm every single day. About a, I'm not asking for a sob story, right? Okay, he lost his job that he cared about, and he worked. Okay. So, what punishment do you think should be uh, sought out for this guy right here? Is that not good enough for you? No. I mean, I went all the of course way, not. Like, around... They need to be punished. This cannot go, go uh, without punishment. What do you think is right, Link? It seems like what I care about is not the same. What do you care? Hmm. I mean, there's so many routes we can go down this. What do you think, Harry? I, I just don't listen, you know. I'm not I, I'm not here to tell you how to run your fucking gang, right? All I see, you know, is a bunch of fucking cannon fodder, you know, join Rust, and then they think they're fucking Billy Big Bollocks, you know, being fucking little shites, and uh, and no one's no one's you know, what? Why are the people under you doing anything about it? Fucking whipping these guys into shape. I just don't get it, right? Harry, it's I know on West. the inside you don't believe what you just said. You I know do. that of course we do. You, listen, Raymond, with all due respect, uh, whatever higher ups you have, commanders, whatever you want to call them, 
you guys don't teach anything that new blood you bring in. You allow them to develop these massive egos like this child has over here to do whatever the fuck they want, wherever the fuck they want, with zero repercussions. Elfie the fucked people up. people of Frankie, and Frankie, fucking people like Derek, you know? Yes, they, they are good people. They have morals. There's a reason they're my high command. Yes, they have standards and morals. Listen, Elfie fucked up and is getting promoted at Rooster's West. How do you think I feel about that, Link? That piece of shit there said they want to up. kill me. They wanted to kill your brother. She did not. She did not fuck up. So you're saying that someone's okay. saying that is fine in your establishment. Yes. You're saying we, that we someone's uh, sitting in your establishment we, we saying they want to kill Hitler or Denzel's fine. The, the way your gang does, Raymond. I, I'm sorry. I see that as respectfully as I can. Okay. So uh, it's fine for people to come to your establishment and say they want to kill you or Denzel or Harry or you know or any of our brothers. People tell me that every fucking day. People tell me that every fucking day. People come and talk shit to me every fucking day. It's getting on my skin, right? Okay. Fair enough. Maybe you're a different man than I am. I let the, I don't let this shit get to me. I don't let it slide. Okay. Everything. You're once again missing the point. Okay? People like this child right here, okay, are joining your fucking gang and all of a sudden thinking they can fucking beat their chest like they're fucking King Kong and do whatever the fuck they want, wherever the fuck they please. With zero repercussions, Raymond. Sorry to step in here, but you know, I, I don't think that's fair to my dad solely for the fact that no one ever got my side except for you heard one part, but that was that was it. That was it. I didn't care for the fact that she dissed Rust. No, I didn't care about that at all. It's the fact that she came at my dad. Okay, I, I don't tolerate that shit. You can diss any gang you want. You can hate anybody you want. I don't have an ego. You guys can believe that all you want, but when it comes to my dad, there is loyalty there just as much as he has loyalty to you. Um, listen, everything you just said was useless and a waste of time, so thank you for wasting my time, because the fact of the matter is, you did shit on my establishment on your own accord, thinking you can do it, and have permission to when you didn't. Okay, so, so you don't think you should have made sure nothing would have happened at the Roosters, you, you just feel like you should have just left and everybody was going to listen. And as I told Penny and as I told Kitty, I should have owned up to it and I should have done better. Like I said, up there over at the Rust, uh, at the Rust compound. Yeah. What the f- Wait, did you hear gunshots? Cuff him. Cuff him now. Cuff him yeah, now. I don't got cuffs. I don't got cuffs. Cuff him. Oh, so you hear gunshots? I don't Was there actual gunshots or no? Right, I'm landing on the roof. Oh. Can I gun out now? I hear a door opening. Is that the garage door upstairs? Oh no. My sweet boy Ray is sleepy. I don't know. Sleepy real cool. Nothing like that. Is Ray handcuffed? Perfect. Let's get the fuck out of here. Wow. What? Listen, what? I heard shit on the footsteps when I was watching. It might be people inside or outside. I have no idea. I heard shit on the footsteps. I think we have around. to stay here, honestly. I Shh. I heard somebody. What the fuck happened to me? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hello? What the fuck happened to me? Why am I cuffed? Hello? Help! Oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh shit. I need you outside of the- I'm, I'm here, I'm here. They're all running around with guns. They're all running around with guns. Running around around guns? Okay, I'm gonna call the cops. I'm gonna call the cops. It's fine. I'm gonna call the cops. Just relax, okay? Can you do anything? I'm if, on the if, hill with the fucking- If you see him come in, if you see him come in somehow, you come in behind him and take him the fuck out. Follow me, follow me. We're gonna hide in here. Get in there, get in there now. They're all outside with guns. I'm, I'm gonna call the cops. Get in there. What? Um, I'm gonna say this, and that way anyone can blame it on me. They have Maxine, they have Maxine, they have Maxine. Top floor, top floor. Maxine? I'm gonna hold him up, I'm gonna hold him right now. Oh shit, well, there you go. Hey, your hands up right now. Hands up right fucking now. What are you doing? Hey, put that, put that back, put that back. Lang, put that back. Speedy, put those guns down. They're on the top floor in the bathroom, come, come now. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. The store just closed. Hey, you fucking talk, I'm gonna shoot you in the fucking head, you understand me? You fucking talk, I'm gonna sh Hey, shove, shove this mask in his mouth and tape it around his fucking mouth so he can't talk. Shove it, shove that mask in his fucking mouth, make it so he can't talk right now. Hey, you fucking that, cowards. Oh, no. Yo, they just shot, they just shot Maxine. <laughs> Help me! Help! I don't know what the fuck just happened to me. Yeah, the, I don't know. I got shot like with door. something. I don't know what they the fuck Maxine. it was. They have Maxine. They have Maxine. They have Maxine. They're upstairs. I heard like a ladder or some shit. Oh no. Oh no. They're shooting. They shot Maxine? I don't know what to do here, Prez. I don't know what to do here. I don't know what to do. I'm right now. 
Come up now, Ray. I don't. There's I don't know like what to a do. Door up here. I don't know what it is. Ray, come here. Okay, 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 okay. I just don't know what to do. I don't know what the Your fuck I do. I'm in Lang's room. All the doors. All right, all right. Come through. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Me no way. Yeah, yeah, hey, so Speedy! Here, right? What the fuck is wrong with you? Swear to God, Speedy! What did you do to Maxine? They Harry! I, I swear to God, I heard him shoot him. I heard him shoot him. You motherfuckers! Why would you do that? Maxine's down. Maxine's fucking. Come down. out here now with your hands up! Or I swear I will kill you, Speedy! <laughs> come away! Speedy, come out now! With your hands up, or I will put Come a out. bullet in yeah, your right. brain! Two of them hostage outside. Let them all go. Two of them hostage outside. Take them out. Take them out. Put bullets in their head and get out of here. Take them out. Take them out. Put bullets You motherfucker! Trust that side. You guys good? Yeah, be careful. Ray, you better calm the fuck down, Ray. Buddha. You tell Harry to come out with his hands up, I swear to God, I will kill every here, single buddy. motherfucker. You're gonna I get killed here, buddy. Buddha, I'm not gonna not hurt you, Mario. Buddha. Please, please, don't do this, Buddha, don't do this! You better get the fuck out of here, Ray. Let me get Maxine and I will leave. The cops are here, Raymond. You better get the fuck out of here. Let me get Maxine! Get the fuck out of here, Raymond. Please, Buddha, don't do this. It's not worth it. It's not worth one fucking employee. Yes, it is. <laughs> Why the fuck are you standing in front of the fucking door? The door was fucking closed. Door. Open the door. I'm but killing they, them. It's, they it's already open. They I am not gonna. Trust. I'm not gonna kill Buddha. I'm. Try. Maxine's on the right. Maxine's on the right. I don't want to hurt. Buddha, I don't want to hurt you, but I can't stop these boys from. Please, man, let me get Maxine. Cops are outside, boys. You might want to get the fuck out of here. I will leave when I get my boy. Let me get him. Please! Bruno, 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 come get the shotgun. I'm gonna come up there and I'm gonna anymore. unlock the door and you're gonna grab your fucking boy. Okay. You try anything, okay. you all okay. go down. Okay, don't shoot him, don't shoot him. He's letting us get Maxine. Me? We're gonna get Maxine, we're gonna get out of here. Yep, I'm hammer. coming to the fucking okay. door right I, now. I'm not I doing anything. Shit. I'm not this gonna do anything. Closed in my fucking eyes. Okay. You understand me? Okay, yes. Let me just let me get Maxine. Come on. Hurry. Lang? What are you climbing the ladder? Lang? What are you climbing the ladder? Bang! <laughs> he, it goes to the roof. It goes to the fucking roof. <laughs> Wait, I... He locked the door. I fucking locked. I can't get Maxine. I can't get Maxine! Someone open the door right now. For, open it. Just open the fucking door. He's in the tower right now. Am I killing lag or not? He's in the tower right now. I can grapple hook and kill him. If you, right uh, I don't want to hurt him. Can someone get Maxine, Fucking please? Get Maxine, Bruno. Get Maxine. I'll cover you. I'll cover you. Just watch above you. Watch above you. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go. Right now. Come on, Bruno. Come on. Let's get the fuck out of here. Bruno, you got to be careful going out. We got to watch the tower above you. You got to watch that tower yeah, above you. Yeah, he's in the tower. He's in the tower. Get our people. Hey, leave our property. Leave our property. Wait, who's shooting? Shots where? Don't know. Someone just shot! From where? From where? I don't know, the Bruno's roof. down! Okay, I'm, gra I'm grapple looking in the roof, I'm killing him. Oh, fuck, man, fuck. Okay. Couldn't get him, couldn't get him. Oh, Bruno, Bruno, fuck, man. I killed both Lang and Harry. Uh, okay, 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 I'm gonna grab our boys, I'm gonna grab our boys, I'm gonna grab our boys. Sure, I've done that, boys. I, I don't know where Nana is. I don't know where everyone is. Speedy, you have to inject me quick. I know, I know, I know. One second, one second. Speedy, okay. listen, listen. Okay, okay. 911 at the mayor has been shot. 911 at this house. Do it now. Why are we getting shot for? Juice is up, Speedy. Hey, juice is up. <laughs> oh my <laughs> Cop at the front. Hello? Just drive out, drive out. Hello? Sure, put your weapons away. Uh, there's no weapons out. What happened to our friends? Hey, who's shooting? Let me shot it! Charles? Let me shot it! Hey, hey, hey. I dropped him. 
They had hero adrenaline. So I also saw Speedy. Okay, I'm coming back down. Oh. Come on, Perez. Come on. <laughs> Did the cops just let him drive in? The cops just let them drive in and shoot. What are they doing? What the fuck are mine? <laughs> oh my god, man. What? Fucking Speedy shot me. <laughs> no, I never shot Lang. I just shot, I shot Speedy and fucking Harry. I wouldn't shoot Lang. But obviously, if I could boo the. Dude, what the fuck, man? Okay, uh, so this one's a critical. Am I okay to fly her separately to the hospital just to get her very quickly? Yeah, space here. We'll check his possessions before you uh, let him go. What happened with the lady at the rooster's rest? Uh, honestly, it's old news. I don't really know everything about it. Is it? And I don't really think it's too related, so no? I'd like to move past it. You don't think it's related? Yeah, let's just move past that, huh. shall we? Okay. You know what, Harry? Uh, I, I believe you. Uh, you are free to go. Okay. Recording here is going to end here at 7.42 p.m. Damn. Standard time. Damn. Ray, see, honestly, it goes a long way. Bruno Brown is calling you? Buddha. One second. Oh, Buddha. And interrogating yeah, yeah. them okay. was such a time served. So, uh... <clears throat> hey, Buddha, I just walked out of the cells. Raymond, you piece of fucking garbage. You are not going to gaslight me right now, you motherfucker. <laughs> How could you betray me like that? You betrayed me, Raymond. You told me Speedy was not there. You told me. You gave keys to your fucking henchmen to walk up into my fucking house and kill me, Raymond. I gave them keys in case something happened. Because like you said yesterday, Buddha, Speedy's not around right now. I think we're going to be fine. Nothing's going to happen. But today you call me up to have a meeting. And I go into that meeting and Speedy's not there. Where was he, Buddha? Where was Speedy? What happened to me in that room? Ray, we tranquilized the fuck out of you. Why would we you do take that? Maxine, and we were going to take Maxine and do what needed to be done, Raymond. You motherfucker. In our own home. Motherfucker, Ray. In you our own home. You almost you got me killed in my own house. You lied to me. I got shot, Buddha, multiple fucking times. And you think I didn't get shot? Your boys fucking backed me over to a fucking corner like I was a fucking rat. I get it. When I told you, if you gave me Maxine, I would have taken him. I shot Speedy in the head like the fucking piece of shit he is. And I was going to grab Maxine. You said, oh, I was going to unlock the door for you. That. And you locked the fucking door on me and you went up that ladder and you shot people. I could have just taken him and left. And I felt good about it, Raymond. Oh, my God. I don't know who the fuck that was by the SUV, but when I fucking squeezed the fucking trigger on that deagle and it went straight to his fucking watermelon, you it felt fucking so fucking good. You have no fucking idea. I've been waiting fucking months to do something like that. Ah, stuck in your stupid position of his mayor, he can't do anything. And here is how you oh, take your anger out. where you're fucking wrong, Raymond. I can do a fucking lot. You don't want to see it. You understand me? All I see is betrayal. All of this for what? For some employee you don't even know. You don't even know their see, face. See, 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 right? You, once again, missing out the entire point of this. I am not going to let <laughs> fucking cockroach think they could do whatever they want on my kingdom. You understand me? I'm not going to let nobody, nobody fucking know that you brought into your fucking little, little fucking gang over there down the south side. Come up here, cause a ruckus, and be, or, and is met with no repercussion. You're that will never happen. Fucking psychopath, Buddha. You could have left Speedy out of that. You did not need to tranquilize me. We could have had our conversation and figured something out with Maxine. Yet here you are having Speedy come in there and tranquilize me in my own fucking home. And I woke up. in a gun, Raymond. You should be thankful it was a fucking tranquilizer. I woke up in handcuffs, Buddha, stuck there, screaming for help. Yeah, and we were going to take Maxine and we we're going to fucking chop his hands off. Put him on the fucking Jaeger's Island to never come back. That's my son, Buddha. Yeah, and I heard of my fucking daughter. She was there too, huh, trying to kill me. They didn't know anything was going to happen. They were there just under the guise we're going to have a meeting and that was it. You promised me nothing would happen. Yeah, well, 
all shit happened. Well, you go after the people I care about. It is only right that the favor is paid back. Raymond, you came. Your people came into our home. I didn't go after nobody. You invited me. You try anything. Your people try anything, and I will kill your daughter, Raymond. You have my daughter? No, I don't have her, but I will find her. Well, we'll see, Buddha. To be honest, I don't know what my gang will think about me now. But I'll have a conversation right. with them. You knew this was going to happen. Well, not necessarily this I didn't fucking situation. know this was going to happen, but how do you no, think no, no, they're no. going to see it? Let me finish. Let me fucking finish. I told you when you first made your gang that at one point in your fucking life, you were going to have to make a hard decision to choose between them or your family. Same shit with Marty. You, you need to understand that when you are a gang leader, your gang is above everything else. And when your gang is made up of people who are at the time or not your family, it's going to put you in a, an impossible predicament one way or the other. Now, unfortunately, it just happened that so happened between me and you. But if it wasn't me and you, it would have been you or somebody else. You made because right. a good gang leader, okay, is going to put his gang above everybody else. And you know what that means, right? Yes, I know what that means, Buddha. But I Think also... about it, Raymond. You were in that house telling your boys to not kill me after I just... After Harry just shot one of their own in the fucking head. So what does that make me, Buddha? It makes me a family, man. I get it. I have my flaws. You know them, and oh, you take Ray, advantage Ray, of them. You Buddha. need to understand, okay? You have to make a decision, okay? Because all those people will leave you if you keep trying to protect us. I know. I listen. I get it. And I'm well aware. And trust me, there will be consequences to what Speedy, Harry, and you had done there. And I'll let them Speedy take care of Harry it. Speedy and Harry on the fucking ICU. Well, my son almost died. I wish he fucking did. Buddha. Double dipping piece of fucking garbage. Fuck you. You chose a fucking roosters employee over your own brother who had your back in every regard. I've never betrayed you. Ever. You, once again, are too fucking thick headed to understand the point of all this, Raymond. May you please protect the people close to you. And I'll protect mine. You have a good day, Buddha. Don't make a move, Ray. Don't be a fucking idiot. I can't stop those around me anymore. You know yeah, the truth. Well, then you're going to lose them all. Goodbye, Buddha. Goodbye, Ray.